how much do you think that the Michigan game was just kind of, you know, a bunch of new guys in a tough environment and not being able to close it out in that situation? I think it was part of it, you know. I think we started out real well, especially defensively. The first 32, 34 minutes of the game, we, we were winning by, I think, 15. And then, you know, they just hit a couple of threes and then the home environment took over and, and they won the game. So, yeah, I think it was definitely part of it. So next, next time we're going to be better. How has the season kind of changed for you with the, tra you know, the trajectory of not having the three guys here so far? And obviously your role's gotten bigger. How has this kind of changed your role on this team? Well, I, I, we never really had it. So they, they didn't miss a game. So they got suspended before the first game. So I don't really know how it would look if they were there. But um, it definitely changed. A lot of our team, our depth is pretty much gone. So, especially for the bigs, it's only three or four of us. So, it definitely puts a little more pressure on us. But, you know, it's just the diversity. So, you gotta get people through that. You Coach, played, go ahead. Coach just said that there could be some resolution to that, that you guys could find out whether you get those guys back or not, uh, maybe by the, as early as the end of the week. Mm -hmm. For you guys, how nice would that be to have that sort of resolution to know? You could sort of kind of finish that distraction? Well, it's just, it's, it, it would be nice to know, you know, because, you know, in the past couple of months, it's just been up in the air and we don't really know what's going on. So it'd be, be definitely nice to know when they're going to be back. You played for the uh, national team this summer. Did. How did that kind of help you? What did you kind of develop and work on? I think mainly my confidence and uh, it was just a good experience to play against pros and uh, older guys because they know all the tricks of the game, you know. So it was definitely a good experience, but um, I'm trying to focus on UCLA right now. So that's it definitely helped, but it's a different type of game over there. You said that those guys got suspended before the game, the season started, so they didn't miss any games. But even so, you went through the entire summer with those we guys, did, yeah. expecting them to be there. Well, yeah, we had a we had a team during the summer, and we were pretty together. It was it was nice to have them, and and so definitely it hurt the team, just like I said, and our depth is gone. But um. You know, we haven't missed any game. I mean, they haven't missed any game, so so the game game wise, it's it's just been the same. Is that, the season so is that style that you played in Hungary similar to what the the balls will be facing Lithuania? It, a little bit similar, I think. In Lithuania, as far as I know, they usually have good competition there. Good, like, it's a good league. I'm not sure about the team that they went to. Uh, what leagues are they in? I don't know if they're in the Euro League or any the international team. league. Are they in the Baltic League? I'm, I'm not sure, but um, but Lithuania is not as usually have pretty, pretty good uh, basketball culture, so they should be okay. I think I'm not sure what the team is like though. Well, how would you describe kind of your first kind of true college road game? You know, it was, it was different. You know, it was a different atmosphere. You know, way different from here. So you know, it was pretty good, and you know, for the most part, I think we did. You know, we did pretty well, pretty well. You know, we know we lost and stuff. We let it go, you know, at the end. But, you know, most of the game, I think we did, took some huge steps in, you know, our defensive aspect. And, um, you know, we got to flow more on offense and, you know, we'll be good. What is it going to take to flow more on offense? Nothing, just really just repetition, you know, just practice and stuff. So, you know, we've been practicing, you know, doing different things, you know, spacing the floor. That was really the main part, just spacing the floor. So, we've been working on that more these last couple practices and we should be fine. Were there noticeable, or what were the noticeable challenges about being in that road environment? Uh, well, you know, for the main part, I don't think it was really, you know, that that difficult. You know, I think what, we, what really hurt us is, um, you know, as we got towards the end of the game, we just didn't, you know, keep our foot on the pedal. We kind of let up a little bit, you know, with their atmosphere. You know, they just fed off the crowd. You know, they came back and you know, they got the win. So. I think we really just got to keep focusing on, you know, just keeping the pressure on people and not letting them come back. How impressed have you been with Tom's ability to shoot the three for a big man? Man, you know, it's it's, it's definitely great. You know, I think he's, you know, he's developed that over the past couple, of, you know, last couple of years, and um, for him to actually put that in his game, you know, that's that's pretty good. You know, the mid range is always a knockdown, but for him to get out there and shoot the three, it's great. How is uh, shooting at the college level different from the high school level? Is it just different size that you're going against in terms of the closeout hand, or you know, need to kind of take us through that? Yeah, it is definitely. You know, the defense is, is way better than in high school. You know, it's not it's not as easy. Of course, the three point line's a little a little farther back, but 
you know, really, I think at this level, it's just repetition, just getting up a lot of shots. Have you been working on uh, getting the free throws a little bit better? Uh, Coach Alford said it was like a mental game. Yeah, that's really that's really the main thing. You know, as far as when I'm in practice and stuff, and I'm shooting by myself with a team, you know, it's like. You know, it gets it's easy, but you know, once you get around other players and stuff like that, you know, I think it's just like a mental thing, and it just it just happens. Do you remember what your free throw percentage was in high school? Senior year, I think it went down. I think uh, before that, all the other years, I was pretty good, but you know, that senior year came, it just start I start thinking about my shot more. My coach kind of changed it a little bit, and you know, I've been trying to get get back to what it was before since then. Is there a way you can replicate? Some sort of pressure, some sort of atmosphere when you're in practice issues with those free throws. Uh, I mean, really, uh, not really, because you know it's not, it's not a lot of you know the crowd and stuff isn't here. You know, really, I just gotta just learn to stay focused and just you know keep going through. You know, sometimes I think about it and you know I stop a little bit or hesitate on the free throws and just or overshoot it. But you know, I just gotta gotta work on it. Coach Alford is obviously one of the best free throw shooters in NBA yeah. history. What does he tell you about shooting this? Man, he really just says it's all focus, you know. I like, you know, we play all of our songs and stuff, you know, during practice. So he said, you know, just get that in your head and, you know, just take your time and knock the shot down. How much, how often does he bring up the Indiana thing? Like it, oh, I hear that every. Shame the, you can't shame the state, right? <laughs> every day, man. <laughs> but, you know, he's a, he's a cool guy. I like it, though. What does he say when he does it? No, nah, he just, you know, he always talks about my, my tattoos, talk about, you know, I'm, I'm on this side of 465, and he goes all around. It's just, you know, just a little goofy stuff, but, you know, it's pretty good. Um, coach said that there could be some resolution by the end of this week, because it's already uh, Thursday. Yeah. So, to the suspensions, you guys may know by the end of the week whether mm -hmm. these guys are going to be back or not. Just mm -hmm. to have that resolution, it sounds like it's coming soon. What does that mean to you guys to know whether they'll be back or not? I mean, if they, if they come back, you know, that would, that would definitely be great. You know, I know we've been kind of low on some of our bigs and uh, some of our, you know, Chris Smith has to move a little bit more to the fore a little bit. And so with them coming back, you know, I think that would really help us out a lot. And, you know, when people get tired, you know, they can be there. Is it especially difficult because those guys were part of your freshman class? Yeah. You talked a lot about how united and um, together that freshman class was and now half of, half of your guys are gone. Definitely, because, you know, we had a lot of team chemistry, but, uh, you know, a lot of stuff happens, and um, you know, I just wish the best for them. I hope they come back, and you know, I can't wait. Coach was saying that uh, he loves your three pointers and need more of them. Uh, how do you, do you do you agree, and how do you go about doing that? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, I, I've got a pretty good percentage so far. I'm feeling a lot more confident in it. Um, but yeah, I think that'll be a big thing for me is uh, just trying to find open looks and being ready to knock them down. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to find the full of offense. I don't want to be forcing enough uh, shots. But yeah, I think uh, I've been shooting at a pretty good percent, so I can get more and hopefully. You keep shooting that percent, and yeah, just keep it all going. You have the highest percent on the team. You give the, the guards a hard time. <laughs> I, I haven't. I don't know. I mean, I've just knocked them down when I've got them. And just trying to, yeah, make sense for the team. So. Coach Alford said that there could be resolution by the end of this week. Obviously, no. it could come in the next few days on the suspensions. What will that mean to you guys to have that result, whether they're going to be back and playing on this team or not? Yeah, I think it'll be great for them just to know because they're kind of in a state of limbo right now, just waiting to see what will happen. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I hope the best for them. Like you said, I mean, we don't know what's going to happen yet, but yeah, hopefully it, the decision is made soon so they can uh, just, so yeah, we can just start moving forward with it. I was going to say, not only them, but for you guys, yeah. you know, whether you're going to have these guys back in the rotation, so how much... You know, exactly, yeah. It just helps us to just, yeah, see what uh, ends up happening with them. So, yeah, just curious to see uh, what happens when it comes out. Playing in that road environment for the first time, how did you feel like the younger players handled that environment? I thought we played really well as a team for the first 33, 34 minutes of the game and then kind of fell apart at the end. But uh, I think, uh, yeah, I think that was great to see that for the first 33 minutes because, I mean, it shows that even from the game one on the road, we uh, we are capable of uh, being efficient there. So, yeah, I think it's uh, just focusing on just expanding that 33 minutes to a full 40 minute game. And, I think we'd be just fine if we do that. So yeah, it's just uh, learning from those last couple minutes where we made those mistakes. Do you think that was a product of being on the road and having to handle that tough environment? I mean, or was it something else? Or could it have been a I think it was just. Things? I think it was just us. Really, I think if 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 the road environment was going to, I guess it affects the very beginning of the game. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, we just kind of stopped playing uh, together offensively and defensively. Just didn't use each other as well as we could have towards the end there. And yeah, that's just kind of what happens when you stop doing that and you give a team uh, at their place too. I mean, the fact that they were at home, they did start to build a little momentum with their crowd and all that. And you got to give them credit for that. But yeah, I think at the end of the day, it came down to uh, the way we played, and we just definitely have a lot of things to improve on from that.